Where were you born? Uh, so, so I was born in uh, Nagpur. My father migrated. Being in railways, being coming from a South Indian family, the only thing that you do is to do a government job. My father migrated some 40 years back, and I was born here. Uh, so I come from a family, uh, I'm a Tambram as they say, right? And when you say Tambram, uh, they are essentially, you know, very, uh, they would say education, CICWCS, you got to be IS, you got to be in the ranking, which I was never, right? So every summer, I used to go to my uh, hometown and get some complex from them because those guys would be, you know, hey, you look, uh, what is happening in the US, what's happening here, that 15 days, used to be a lot of soul searching. So that made me all the more clear that uh, let me figure out what I need to do, right? Uh, you're not born uh, in, a, in a family which has a lot of money. You're not born in a family which, you know, is entrepreneurial, so to say, because my father was in railways, my father's father was doing something else, so on and so forth. And my elder brother was, all, uh, was in central excise. And therefore the education became the central piece. If you don't study, you won't get a job. Right? So, so then uh, sort of that really told me to do a lot of studies, uh, but that was very late. So my, my, my score in 10th was not very high, my score in 12th was not very high. Uh, I was uh, very humble, very naive, uh, very introvert. Uh, I used to do a lot of uh, stuff on the innovation side, chemistry and you know sciences and all. Uh, but I was very introvert. I didn't do any entrepreneurship, honestly, right? I was very introvert. I, I was to myself and I was a mediocre student also. So mathematics always, you know, scared me. I said, which is that field which doesn't have mathematics? And I chose commerce uh, in the 12th standard. Um, and my cousin became a chartered accountant, a very successful chartered accountant in Chennai. He was doing well. My uncles used to say, hey, look, guys, look at him, intelligent guy. SAP, Citibank, all of that. So I said, okay, let me give a try with cost accounting because that used to be a simpler thing than a chartered accountant thing. I enrolled. Someone said, yaar, ek karke to dek ek bar, CAV. So I enrolled and that was the first batch of chartered accountancy. Introduced CA foundation and it came with maths. I did my CA and ICW eventually and also IAS by the way. I cleared my prelims and mains and then did not go for the interviews. If you see my like, chartered accountancy, cost accountancy and IAS, I cleared at the same time. There are largely uncles saying, hey, you've done CA, you will pass CA. Why not IAS as well? Uh, they are the guys who are at the helm of affairs. You will get power, you will get position. You can become someone like Session because he was the blue-eyed boy at that time. And I was doing my studies at that time. Thank you. TN session and you, you could see him on the television, newspapers. So sort of that, that sort of set the... So clearing the prelims was largely fluke. But when I started mains, uh, I realized that I have no money. My father had retired. Uh, I was not having money to buy even the books. So I took a train, went to Delhi. Someone told me that you get kerosene Xerox, photocopies of the books. Because there were a lot of subjects, geography, history, psychology, so on and so forth. So I took a jugaad in kerosene Xerox. Mein. So rupees me sari book book khareed ke leke aage mein. But the real problem started. I could do jugad and get those books, but the real problem started. I was a CA by then because I cleared prelims and CA and ICW at the same time. And my colleagues were talking about taxation, economy, business, and I was talking to them about cyclone and tornado because that's part of the <laughs> syllabus. And they were saying. <laughs> What are you doing? And I was asking myself, what am I doing? They were reading Economic Times and I was reading Geography. So, so that sort of uh, pinched me. How useful is this going to be in your day-to-day -day life? As an IS officer, are you reading uh, history which you have not read in your school times? I, I was not a good reader. Are you reading it now uh, to save the nation? Are you going to serve the people reading this? That was the biggest demotivation to me. And my brother took me to one of the commissioners of police at that time, just before, one week before the interview. And he said, congratulations, blah, 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 and all of that. And he said, he asked me the same question. Why do you want to be an IS officer or, or a civil servant? I said, of course, they get a good amount of salary. 
So then he laughed at me because I was very naive. I said, two lakh rupees would be your salary. Again, he laughed at me. He said, my salary is 25,000 rupees, right? And I said, wow, I am already a CA. I would get a salary much more than this. Then he said two things. If you're ready to say two things, if you're ready to, uh, you know, say yes, minister, and take bribe, you should tick this box and go ahead and do IS. That was earth shaking for me. I said, these two things are exactly, these two things are something which I don't want to do in my life. My ne father never taught me and we were modest because my father always believed in getting that bread with honesty. Right? He was in the bill section, he was transferred every now and then. Just because he never, he raised all the questions on the bills. Right? He never took bribe. Right? And we were grown up like that. We never had a television in our home. We never had a cooler in our home. I never had money to even do my education. Right? I did my CA uh, at no cost. I earned money. I did part-time job. I did my BCom. I did part-time job, earned money. So I said, this is not something that I wanted to do. Right? I had quit at that time. I, had, I was having nothing, no idea, no connection. Obviously being introvert, coming from this family, no friends. Uh, who would tell you that, hey, look, why don't you do this? No mentors cleared my prelims and CA. Uh, and I was having a goal of pursuing IAS, which ab abruptly got stuff. And then in between, there was a lot of chaos. That day, I thought, what should I do in my life? Honestly, I had no answer. Uh, that day, uh, I had no friends with whom I could chat and have a cup of coffee and say, what do you want to do? And obviously, uh, my parents wanted me to go for a job. <coughs> I had some good offers. Uh, there was a company in Africa which said, uh, we will pay you 60,000 rupees. The thought that struck me was, after five years, I'm going to come from Africa with a lot of money and do Jingalala here in India. <laughs> so that was sort of awakening moment for me and said, let me do something. Let me try and do something of my own. 